In this video, we're going to do uh, square roots, roots, um, and exponents on the sharp EL531TG. Okay, this calculator with the advanced DAO um, is, a, is pretty unique, I think, in terms of inputting information. So let's say we want to take the square root of 8, right? So we take the, we press the square root button, and then we press 8. As you can see, the 8 doesn't go in that slot there. Uh, we press equals, and then it gives us 2.82. Uh, let's say you want to do the third root of 1.81. That will be right over here above the Y X key. It's an orange. Uh, so we put three first and then second Y to the X key. So you can see it's three, right? Goes in that spot where the X is 1.18. Then we press equals and then it shows us that the answer is 1.218 and so forth square root of half, right? So we take the square root and we say one ABC two, we press equals and then it gives us 0 0.707. <clears throat> now, if you're unsure that, you know, in any calculator, if you're not sure this is correct, you can always say one divided by two, press equals, then the square root, right? And then you can say, I guess it's alpha equals for the answer, previous answer. And it gives you that 0 0.700. And of course it keeps going. Uh, let's say three, take away the fourth root of the square root, the fourth root of eight. So three, take away, right? And then um, you type in four, second, y to the x, eight, and then press equals, then it gives you 1.3182. And it keeps going. All right, square root of 12 plus the square root of 27. Um, so you take the square root of 12, right? And then you say plus the square root of 27. You press equals, and it looks like the square root of 12 plus the square root of 27, and that gives you 8.66 and so forth. Um, let's see. Uh, it should do this too. If you do the square root of 12, enter. And then you say plus the square root of 27 equals and gives you the same answer. So we know that it does separate the two. Um, Let's say negative the fifth root of the square root of 16. This one, um, definitely we're going to have to put parentheses because of the interface, I think. So we put negative and then parentheses. So you can see the negative and parentheses. Then you can put the 5, second, y to the x key, 16 and then press equals, and it gives you negative 1.741 and, and more. Okay, three squared, right? Three squared gives you nine. Uh, you gotta press the equal sign to get the answer. Okay, we did. If I press the equal sign again, no, it doesn't do anything else, good. Nine to the fifth power, okay? So we press nine y to the x, and 5. You can see that the 5 is not next to the caret, but it's fine. 5, 9, 0, 4. What is that, a 9? Mm -hmm. The angle at which I'm seeing it um, is not super great. Many cal Some calculators have good angle sight, but not this one. You have to like be almost like this to see it, but that's okay. Uh, 2 to the negative 3, that's the same as 1 over 2 to the 3rd, 
1 over 8, right? And that should be, what, uh, 0.125? Half of uh, 12, right? I'm sorry, half of 25. So, uh, 2y to the x, negative 3, equals, and it gives you the same answer. Okay. Uh, how about uh, 3 to the 1 fourth power, right? This one, we get 3, and we're going to have to put parentheses. Uh, hold on, no. Let's erase that. Let's erase that. We go 3, y to the x, then put parentheses. Then we can say 1, abc, 4. Close it. Looks good. Equals 1.316, and it keeps going. This, of course, is the fourth root of, of 3. That 4 is there on the index, and the, that 1 is right here. So this one, we can do 4, second, y to the x, 3, equals, same answer. Okay, this one is a little more challenging, 2 to the 3rd over 5 squared, squared. The way I would do this... Because for whatever reason, this calculator is not so algebraic as I would like it to be. But it's just a different way of putting things. This is, uh, this is a third, three. So 2y to the x, 3. You press equals. Then we would just say divide by 5 squared. We press equals. And then we square it. And then press equals. you got to press equals. 0 0.1024. That is very important, pressing equals or enter, as you can see in the bottom right there. So in either case, um, you need to be pretty aware of that. So that's how you do um, roots, uh, square roots, exponents on the Sharp um, EL531TG. I hope you have a great semester. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.